I posted a video a few days ago about a shopping trip to Costco that I took. One of the things I bought was a big package of pork belly, which I prefer to bacon because it doesn't have all the chemicals and salt and sugar and everything else that bacon has. I've had a few people ask me in the comments how to cook pork belly, so I decided to do a video of me cooking breakfast, eggs and pork belly. I'm going to slice it like bacon and then I'm going to fry it. Then I'll fry the eggs in the pork belly fat. So to get started, you need to have a sharp knife, a cutting board. I only have a small plastic one. A bigger plastic one would be better, but this is what I've got. And pork belly. I separated the package that I bought at Costco into these plastic bags and I froze half of it for later in the week. So I'm taking a piece out. Actually, it was in the bottom of the fridge and it got a little bit frozen. And this should be enough. This is about half a pound here. That's as much pork belly as I need. It's actually probably a good thing that it's a little bit frozen because that'll make it easier to slice. It tends to sort of squish down when you press the knife into it. You need a very sharp knife, uh, as sharp as you, ha you can possibly get it. Otherwise, it just squishes down. And then you, I cut it into three pieces like this. That makes it easier to carve each one rather than having one big long slice that I would have to carve. Now, because I've left it, a it's a little bit frozen, when I press down on it, it's not squishing. If it were totally thawed, which it usually is when I cut it, if I don't keep things on the back of the fridge, it would squish down and this would be really hard. So I actually think that this may be something I'll try to do in the future keep the pork bellies down there so they'll be easier to slice down at the bottom of the fridge where they stay a little bit frozen. And I'm cutting them into the size of, say, a thick bacon. This is a little bit thicker, but it's going to be good. I'm going to do all three. This one's thawed more on this side, so this is exactly what I was talking about. This is where it gets difficult, but just do the best you can. It doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm gonna cut this last one. Well, this is the most frozen one of all, but the knife still goes through it and it's easy to cut. It almost looks like prosciutto at this stage. And there you have it, my pork belly, all ready to be fried. My frying pan is hot. And I'm just gonna put this in like bacon. Funny, I used to watch a show called The Barefoot Contessa by a woman named Ina Garten. Uh, she loved, she liked to cook very simple yet elegant things. And she made it look so easy. The fat from splattering. And honestly, I'd be sitting there watching her cook these delicious meals and I'd be eating a bag of corn chips or something, but thinking, oh, I'll cook that for friends for dinner one day. She made it look so easy. I really enjoyed watching her, but I never thought in a million years I'd be cooking something on a stove and uh, putting it out in front of thousands of people on YouTube. So funny how life works sometimes, isn't it? Okay, I think it's ready to turn over now in about five minutes. And see it's brown on the back side, which is good. That's the way I like it. Brown, but not crispy. And it's releasing plenty of fat into the pan, just like bacon does. Lots of fat to cook my eggs in. Oops. 
And it's already cooked most of the way through, so it just needs a couple minutes on the other side. So I've got my plate with some paper towel on it. I know some people think, oh, you shouldn't drain it, you should have all the fat, but I find that if I don't drain the pork belly or the bacon, I end up getting fat all over my t-shirt, which isn't good. Okay, yep, so it's a little bit brown on the other side now. That, that piece is done. For some reason, different parts of my frying pan cook faster than other parts. So they don't always end up, up coming out at the same time. Also, since I carved them myself, they have different thicknesses. Some pieces need to cook longer anyway. And that piece needs more on that side. I like my pork belly chewy, but not raw. I think that'll be it. Yep. Oh, but that's smoking. If that happens when I'm cooking, I would turn the heat down, but now I'm just gonna pour the eggs right in. So I've got six eggs to fry. There they go. I like my eggs over easy, but if I just leave them to get it cooked all the way through, the yolks get cooked too much. I like my yolks running. So a trick I learned is just to pour a little bit of water, just a smidgen, and close the frying pan, and they steam the tops at the same time as they're cooking from the bottom. And you get a really nice, even cooked egg with the yolk still very runny. I'll turn them over at a certain point and cook them maybe for one minute on the uh, flip side just to make sure that any of the egg whites are not too runny. While I do that, I'm going to snack on the pork belly. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. I love pork belly. My eggs are done. I didn't have to turn them over. Move my pork belly out of the way. I love that, but they just cook all the way through. I didn't have to bother with turning them over and inevitably breaking a couple of the yolks and they would get cooked too much. And there's a little runny still. This one's done. Just that little 10 seconds or I'm sure was enough. Yep. I will save my pork fat because I can use it to fry other things. Now I'm going to put my pork belly on the plate. And there's my breakfast. So that's how I cook my pork belly. Give it a try next time you see some. Costco usually has it. Whole Foods has pork belly as well. Sometimes it's on sale and I'll get it there. I love to break the yolk and then dip some of the pork belly into the yolk. The flavors go really well together. Mmm. Mmm. Delicious. It's a perfect breakfast. It'll keep me going till 3 o'clock and I won't even be that hungry when I eat again. I really like the carnivore diet and it amazes me that I can lose weight and keep all my blood work within ranges, eating like this, eating a diet that most people think is poison. Uh, it's been a real eye opener for me. That's it for today. I'm going to enjoy my breakfast. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.